The soft tackle is definitely one of my go-to flies. If I had to fish only one fly for the remainder of my life, it would probably be a number 12 Harris Ear Soft Tackle. They work well in a great variety of waters for all sizes of fish. Soft tackles are believed to resemble either a caddis pupa or certain mayfly larvae or scuds. All these little creatures have the ability to swim. Therefore, an active retrieval method is generally used instead of a dead drift common with nymphs. This also helps you cover more water faster than when fishing with nymphs. Because soft tackles do a good job of imitating food items trout see on a daily basis, and perhaps also because they are not fished that often, they can be very successful on clear, heavily pressured waters. There are several variations of the basic soft tackle pattern, and all of the ones I've tried have worked well. Just recently, I've been using the tungsten beadhead pattern, and I found that to be working very well. Unlike other flies, you don't need much variety in your soft tackle collection. They all pretty much work pretty good. I generally prefer to stay with the size 12, but when fishing clear streams for spooky trout or heavily pressured trout, reducing to a size 14 or 16 can be helpful. A close relative to the soft tackle is the Tenkira fly. These flies are essentially a soft tackle tied in reverse. They were designed to work well in fast currents common to high gradient mountain streams. To the spin angler, you will find they work well when retrieved behind a small spinner, spoon, or crankbait. They do not work well when drifted like a nymph. I did very well catching native brook trout on this fly from a remote stream during a recent backpacking trip. In fact, my Tenkara fly outfished my other flies by a wide margin. I recommend trying sizes 12 or 14. Soft tackles are not fished as often as the other flies by fly rod fishermen. It's a little difficult to fish them with a fly rod. On a spinning rod, they are very easy to fish. Very simply, tie your soft tackle 18 inches behind a 1 16th ounce to 1 8th ounce spinner or spoon. When fishing two flies behind a spinner or spoon, I like to put the soft tackle as my second fly. A spacing of 12 to 18 inches is usually good. Because it is a small fly, I often tie it behind a large streamer. The purpose would be for the streamer to catch the large fish and the much smaller soft tackle to catch the smaller fish. However, I have probably caught as many large trout on that number 12 soft tackle as I've caught on the much larger streamers. That's why I like this fly. A soft tackle can also be fished behind a crankbait, but I recommend this be done by actively reeling in the crankbait, not letting it just drift downstream. You cover more water this way and generate more strikes. An excellent technique to try occasionally when fishing a soft tackle is the following. Using a slow sinking spoon, cast across the stream. Leave the spoon and fly swing downstream, staying close to the bottom. At a certain point when this becomes difficult due to the force of the current, raise your rod tip and reel in slightly, causing the fly to rise from the bottom of the stream up to the surface. This upward motion resembles the pattern exhibited by certain caddis and mayfly species as they are hatching. It is most effective during spring and early summer when trout are used to seeing that type of motion and associating it with an easy meal.